PowerPoint presentations. We've all heard of them, but do you know how to properly build them? You're about to. Hello world, Mike Ploger back with my good friend VizMe and today I want to help you build a PowerPoint presentation. Whether it's your very first PowerPoint or you're looking for some advice after treading the same path for a long time, I have 10 super helpful tips that will help you create a more powerful presentation. Let's not waste any time, shall we? Our first tip is maybe easier said than done, but your topic is everything. If it's a boring topic that won't stir up any emotions or drive curiosity, you'll see that the second you pull up your first slide. You want to choose a topic that will drive engagement and get your audience on the edge of their seats. Now, sometimes you won't have control of your topic. That's when you want an interactive template to help you. Here's a not so well kept secret, visme.com has them, but not so fast. We'll actually dive more into this here very soon. Perhaps the most important aspect of your entire presentation is that you are factually correct. Don't guess on important points and always back up opinions with proven information. You'll find it helpful to gather this research into a bullet point list. Then, as you're preparing your presentation, refer back to these main points you kept and input them where you see fit. In other words, research first and gather the facts, save them, then include them later on. Don't do everything all at once. And one last thing, always note or mention the source where you got the information. Make sure they're credible platforms and then reiterate that to your audience. It's time to forget the standard PowerPoint software that comes installed on your computer. Everybody has that and it doesn't exactly instill excitement anymore. This is where VisMe comes in. Cut out the confusion with VisMe's easy to use platform that will help you create a professional PowerPoint in really little to no time. That's literally what VisMe is. It's an all-in-one presentation tool. Edit backgrounds, choose from a vast library of photos and videos, implement icons and graphics, build infographics, animate objects, embed videos, the list goes on and on. The best part is all of it can be done with just a few simple clicks thanks to the well-organized layout. You can even take an existing PowerPoint file and upload it into Visme's platform to edit it further. Then you can just as easily export it and present it offline. Do I need to tell you more? Okay, hold that thought. My fourth tip for you is to stop starting from scratch and rather begin with a template. Oh yeah, VisMe has dozens of those too. VisMe has templates far and wide, covering a range of potential topics. Colorful templates, data-driven templates, modern templates. I encourage you to take just a couple minutes and type in visme.com into your browser and check them out for yourself. And just because you start with a template doesn't mean you can't customize it fully. If you need to match brand colors, you can change colors in just a click. Every editable aspect I mentioned in our previous tip still stands when you start with a template. And don't feel like you have to start with a template either because you're more than welcome to start from scratch. I'm just here to make your life a little bit easier. That's all. When you're considering the designs you want to use in your PowerPoint, don't forget to keep your audience in mind. What do they want to see? What value can you bring to them? Why are they there to see your work? It's just a few questions that you want to consider. Not only will your material and spoken word keep them engaged, but so will your designs. If your presentation requires a lot of information, add charts and graphs into your slides. Choose the theme that fits your audience and then use elements that will connect with them. Now just as your theme, designs, and elements should fit your audience, so should your written word. Fonts can be hard to choose from sometimes, and trust me, I understand, I'm the guy who tries out 30 different typefaces before finally settling on one. But it's all for a purpose. What will my audience like? I have to answer that and with absolutely no more than three different typefaces. You don't want to go overboard with how much text you're including in your slides either. Don't write your entire script into one slide. Consider the five by five rule. A slide's text should be no more than five lines and no more than five words per line. The words that appear are just a guide for you, the speaker. The shorter the lines of text, the better. 
Large headings will help emphasize important points and guide a reader through the slide. Stick to the grid provided to make sure all elements are properly aligned. If you need your text to pop off the background, incorporate shapes underneath. This is good for when there's a not a lot of negative space. Just make sure that the shape background provides contrast from the image underneath. Static PowerPoints are things of the past. Add some movement to your presentation with animation. Whether it's a design element like an icon or the transitions between slides, you should be considering how you can make your presentation more animated. It's one of the most proven ways to keep an audience engaged as they'll want to see what animations are coming next. With Visme's editor, you can add an animation with the click of a button. Visme has characters, graphics, icons, avatars, special effects, and more that you can drag and drop right into your presentation. Then, like everything else inside of Visme, you can customize the animations however you would like. Adjust the poses, the speed of the movement, the colors, the repetitions. You have complete control. Visme just took care of the hard part that is building the animations for you. And yeah, this goes for transitions too. You can zoom into the next slide or fade in or slide in. There's plenty of options to choose from. Just find one that you like and stick to it for the entire presentation. More than that will start to look unprofessional. Another way to maintain your audience's attention on your PowerPoint is by encouraging interaction. If you can, include data visualizations that will pop up when a viewer scrolls over it. Think of a map. You scroll over one region or maybe a restaurant and then more information comes up about that region or restaurant without leaving the actual page. You need things like this in your presentation. It's a great way to keep your audience engaged while also organizing your information. It'll help you be less robotic as the presenter as well as you can go with the flow and direction of the presentation as it's happening. If data visualizations aren't in the cards for you, simple links to click on are always an easier option. A common theme for this entire list has been to include visuals. Again, text alone will leave viewers begging for the bell. You need the highest quality images, videos, and stickers that you can find to include in your presentation. Whatever you do, don't use pixelated images. It's maybe the easiest way to immediately lose your credibility. If you don't have your own, find free stock images in Visme's editor to use yourself. You can search through millions of high quality photos that match your theme or topic and easily add them into your presentation. My 10th and final tip is to practice, practice, practice. Rome was not built in a day, and neither was an effective presentation. Public speaking can be scary. I get it. I still get nervous myself, and I have experience speaking live in front of thousands of people. But it's preparation that not only calms me down, but makes me more effective. Read over your transcript several times, and then eventually shift to bullet points to have prepared for the presentation itself if you're not comfortable going by slides alone. Practice looking up and making eye contact with your audience. Practice pronouncing any difficult words. Practice sections you want to emphasize. You don't want to sound robotic, so really try to make it sound like a normal conversation. Record yourself and watch the video back if you have to. Yes, it'll be difficult, I understand, but I promise it'll help. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's your time to shine. I hope you're able to take everything you learned in this video and apply it to your next presentation. I can guarantee if you follow our tips, you'll be wowing your audience in no time at all. If you have an extra two seconds, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have more videos than I can count at this point that are meant to help presenters and designers just like you. So we'll hope to see you back here next time. Thanks for watching with Visme. I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.